trust me, something really happened on social media. You understand me? Um, Yah Setting's very own Benedict Jaffe's made a post. You understand me? And I think the simple entertainer goes to boom and say he was not happy about it. So he plays the call to me and say, Yo, Dagazi, I want Ghana. Dagazi, I want Ghana. Dagazi, I don't want to get physical, you know. But if people want me to get physical, I can get physical. I say, Yo, Rasta, hold on, no man. Rasta, cool down your temper, no man. Cool down your temper, no man. You understand? Because you are proud African. So today, tonight, we decided that we'll call a Saji for on yard settings and try to, you know, cool them out to, to settle the issue because we believe in peace because all of us are doing this for, you know, the love of reggae dancehall in this country. Asaji Fu. Yeah, man. What are going on? How are you doing? Me tell you, everything blessed, everything blessed. King Lagazi, everything blessed. Yeah, man, we give thanks. I, 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 I like the, 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 the smile, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> of course, what you mean? <laughs> yeah, so, 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 Saji, tell me, really and truly, I, I, I know that things really, you know, got on your nerves and, and you say you want to get physical. Tell me about it. Yeah, my lad, as you know, say, um, when I saw the post, I saw like what you say, I saw Jaffrey's post and the post, my name was in the post. You know, and some of the things that Jaffrey said was that uh, Osage Fo and his cronies, we are bad mining Raskuku because Raskuku is now dining with the corporate, and instead of I and I to support him, we are bad mining him. And Raskuku is coming to release uh, uh, Afrobeat EP, and also we shouldn't build Raskuku on our Kuma Village show again. But I want to say something between me and Raskuku. Raskuku is artist way, even apart from the music, me and Kuku, we are family. One, where Kuku re uh, records, IB studio, I also record there. So normally when I go there, I meet Kuku, or sometimes he come and meet me, and we reason and everything. So most of Kuku's projects, if I know them before they come out. Kuku himself, sometimes when I meet him in the studio, he normally tell me, Saji, I want to do some Afrobeat projects. Then I always encourage him to say, Poom, because Poom must do his business, of course. Look at this. Poom must do his business and feed himself and his family. He is entitled to that. Even in music, not everyone will stay stick to one genre. Some people will definitely cross over. Yes, in the name of business and everything. So between me and Poom, we don't have Poom know that I don't have any problem when Poom is doing his business, especially when he's doing his Afrobeat project. Because I've met Poom in the studio a few times that he himself tell me, Saji, I want to step on the Afrobeat project. I say, yo, Poom, go on. You see, but normally when I make some statements, uh, because individuals will come and go, but institutions are where we have to tackle. Normally, I don't fight individual artists. I normally make my post and direct it to the institutions that is handling our affairs, not to deal with the mix of things. You see the thing? So how artists do their business is different from how our general stance as it is with its basic principles. You see me as a lawyer, are you listening? Yeah, I'm here, I'm here. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. So, as you know, say, Poom do Afrobeat, it's never a problem at all. Because me and Poom, we meet at studio sometimes. He himself normally tells me, Saji, I won't come out with some Afrobeat projects. Or what are they tell him? They say, Poom, go on. But when Jaffes brought it as if Poom doing Afrobeat is a problem, that is where the whole thing escalated. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because me and Poom, Poom know between me and him say, whatever he does, I'm in full support, whether reggae or Afrobeat. And most of the Poom projects, if I know them in the studio before they even come out, I know Poom with this Afrobeat project, of course. And it's never been a problem at all. So I, just, I didn't see why Jaffa's come put it as if, say, Poom doing Afrobeat, you know. I have a problem with that or something. Because Poom himself, he normally tell me when he's doing Afrobeat, he comes to me, Saji, I want to step on the people with some Afrobeat project. Mr. Poom, go on. You see the thing? Mm -hmm. So between me and Poom, we don't have that problem. So I don't know why Jaffrey's put a post there. Say, me, uh, Poom is coming with some Afrobeat EP and where we're at. If like, we don't know already. We know all them till already with Poom and we don't have any problem with that. What we meet in the studio is never an issue. 
you see that thing. All right. So, so, um, so, um, I would like to find out. I don't know, but um, I don't know whether you know. It looked like um, there was a, a bad blood between you and Jaffis, and I, I don't really, I don't really understand. You understand because. From I received a call from you, you know, it 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 it, it is not normal. There was Sajif who I know and the tonation of talking and all that kind of thing and you know uh, the aspect of getting physical, I'm like, yo, Saji, please, please. All no, but Ladi, Ladi, <laughs> when you make bad man come out of himself, you know. When you make bad man come out of himself, <laughs> yeah. then you must know that it's not go pretty. <laughs> but you know, one thing about Jaffrey is that, what, one thing about Jaffrey is that yeah. whatever he wants to write about on Saji, yeah. he makes sure it's derogatory. And that is what he must make sure because matter, we all have a, rep a reputation to protect. Yeah. I will not allow him to drag my heart and reputation into the mark. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Because one, you have, he has a way he addresses certain people, mm -hmm. but when it comes to a sajifu, he will make sure that what he's writing is derogatory. Oh. <laughs> and that is, that is the point mm -hmm. that I'm trying to make. Say, yo, recently, Lagadi, mm -hmm. you said you wanted a double play from me. Yeah. I went to the studio. Yeah. You send me all your son, my name, including Jaffe's name. Yeah. <laughs> and you pick him up. Yeah, of course. You understand? Yeah, so man. you people, when you need that kind of support, you see as bad door, you get it. But when you go to the main place, then you want to pay your side for back with something. Yawa. <laughs> you understand? Yeah, yeah. I got you. You, you see that thing? Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. so, so this thing we are doing... Anything was hard to say, one, like I our, pro, our industry, you cannot tell me that our industry, you all know that reggae dance hall is the biggest genre in Ghana, mm -hmm. but it's a colony to the other genres, just like how Africa is a colony to Babylon, mm -hmm. because we are not even counted in our own scheme of affairs, yeah. not me alone. Yeah. Including you yourself, Lagadi. Definitely. Just face himself as he sit on there. He's not even a cleaner for VGMA. Yeah. So he should not go on and talk as if say he's no business partner, everybody. So, yeah. If it's about corporate, I've never seen Jaffe sitting on the high table with the corporate people. So, we should stop the talkative and make we all sit down together and address the situation. It's not about Saji Fuolo. When I talk, I've never talked for myself. Whatever I talk, I talk in a way that the reggae dance of fraternity will be recognized and get what we deserve. All right. I didn't feel good when I didn't see you as I say, as I say this thing. Yes, yeah, so I'm glad. Kevin Sargent should have acknowledged. Definitely. And there's some money there. And you know, you see. didn't need a car, see? Watch out here. Yeah, we all, yes. So when I talk, let's all address those situations on a, on a one common platform because we are working in the same fraternity. All right. So, so um, Sarge, it look like we've been talking for long and there are no solutions. But... You being, let me say, young veteran or veteran, you know, in this industry. You you being somebody who has been in in this industry for so long. You understand me? Yes. Yeah. You man. know. You know. How, how best do you think, you know, coming together as one, as a united front, so that at least our voices will be heard? Because it look like this one is doing his thing over here. That one is doing his thing over here. You understand me? And it's not helping us. Look like always oh, regular people are making noise. We are making noise, but our voice it, are not it's being true. heard. It's true. It's true what you are saying. But like I did, that's why I'm saying that we should all address, we should have one voice that we are not happy with the situation. Some people should not go as if they like, for instance, as as I see business come like this, yeah. we are all sidelined. Yeah. But some people are still praising it because some people still won't go out like it's business. Business. Where we're wise, we are all sidelined. Let us all, when a business comes to Ghana in the name of reggae dancer and we are not included, them to hear from we, you know. All them right. to know what they yo. Maybe like as it set up a panel. Wag one. Yo, I, we are not happy about the situation. We don't like how our hard end journal that we work for has been hijacked in that level. When there's a show, you don't see our DJs, you don't see our MCs, you don't see our artists, but they present to we that it, it's a reggae dance hall. Right. Yeah, like as it, yeah. you shouldn't mix up the thing. Definitely. Let's make the people know that we are not happy. All we right. can't join them because we join them, we get nothing. So right. if we join them, we get nothing. Then we must rebel, my brother. Definitely. All right. So, um, 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 Jaffe's. Yes, Kim. Yeah. So, um, Osajifu says anything you write about him is kind of um, derogatory, <laughs> and almost all this time. So I don't know, but we on radio right now. Yeah. You know, between I don't know uh, what you have against Osajifu, what Osajifu have, uh, you know, <laughs> you know, have against you. Yeah, you, you understand me? Yeah. Tonight on Yard Settings, I want you to talk to us, Hajifu, and let the whole world know. You understand me? Because I, I, I don't want to say this. 
<laughs> Kim, yeah. Uh, before I, 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 I would say anything, I thought you understand mm, yeah. me. Uh, I would <laughs> like to say a very big sorry to my big brother Osaji for that. Um, from from the depth of my heart, yeah. Uh, I am very sorry. So he should find a place in his heart to forgive me and let love lead. Definitely. Forgiving, yeah. for, you're forgiving already, man, my old. You're forgiving already, man, because there's no need, there's no need to keep hatred in our heart. Yeah, man. It won't, it won't help any one of us. Of course. You see that thing? Let us all be a fraternity. Because one, matter, we can only be the talkative. Now, as reggae dancers, we can talk, but we are not included in the business. We are not counted in the scheme of our affairs. It's not me or Saji for alone. You just face, if you are not counted. Lagazi, you are not counted. All of us. You see the thing? Mm -hmm. So we, we shouldn't go and give some impression as if, say, like your side there, you are good to go. Rare, rare, because we know what to go on in Ghana. So let us all know that we have a common cause to address. Um, we have a common goal that some, that face must speak some of my mind to, you know. It must be rebel too. He can go and... Make himself as if it's a PRO for BGM <laughs> and all those kind of things. You see the thing? <laughs> then, yeah, man. You go up, shut up. Definitely, definitely. Definitely, yeah, definitely. Man, the eye. So, uh, right, we'll be family, my brother. Yeah, man. Definitely. So, um, um, let me say, tomorrow, I'll, I'll, I'll call you so that at least we'll build up a vibe and see how best, because it's been long coming. You know, reggae must get, you know, that particular respect and, and 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 love in this country. So I reach out tomorrow and then we'll, we'll see the way forward, Saji. Lagari, like Lagari, like give stars. You know, reggae must have its play because that's why when you check the categories of every award, we have hard life, hip life, this, and they are running all of them as it is. So reggae, as it stands there, must go as it is. You know. So let's see how best we can push it, address all the grievances to the people, the man. See here, yeah, man, because. So it's after God. See that in there. All right. Respect for your time. Bless. Bless. Like that. Yeah, man. Love you. One love. Boom.